Hey guys, Morpheus here. Uh, we're here to play some more observation. Uh, it looks like we have a lot of work to do. Um, so we're going to get to it here in just a moment. First, I just want to thank all of you uh, once again for, uh, for checking out my playthrough of this game and hanging out with me on my channel. Um, man, I, I just I got so much in store for for uh, for my channel, guys. You know, just just ride this ride with me. Uh, I got some really unique and rare stuff coming this way. You guys just hang out, and uh, you'll see them soon. We'll start with observation. All right, uh, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, so let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, do the system link to the guidance of navigation, which I'm sure is pretty significant. Mm hmm. Currently unavailable. Okay. Uh, do we need to, yeah, let's go ahead and add this so we can interact with it as well. System linked. Uh, some monitors here, which it's not really showing anything. So the main thing that I have a question about is what exactly is happening to our crew? Life support terminal. Connect. Access denied. Well, that's not good. <laughs> not good at all. We have some laptops here. We'll add this one to the system link. Link to that one as well. How oh, can we connect to that? Oh, we have a couple of entries here. Uh, unhatched schematic available. Technical diagram of the universal hatch door schematic layout. This allows the user to force commands on the equipment in the event of an interface failure or testing. Okay, we pretty much have this one already. Uh, what is this one? J, J, almost there. Message to Cruiser. Hi, everyone. I know a lot of you have been getting head up about requests from Houston and from me that have been butting into your work this past week. I just wanted to say that I'm hearing you all loud and clear. Especially Josh, as he's been the loudest. I know it's been frustrating, but we're getting to the end of it now. We'll be back on expected ESA practice soon. Really soon. You've just got to trust me. When we get through to the other side, I can maybe fill you in on what's been happening. So what exactly is he referring to? Okay, I know, I know a lot of you have been getting uh, hit up about requests from Houston and from me. Uh, that have been butting into your work this past week. I just want to say that I'm hearing you all loud and clear, especially Josh, he's been the loudest. I know it's been frustrating, but we're getting to the end of it now. We'll be back on expected Easter practice. So basically, he he knew something. Let's see what this says. All right, decryption protocol, confident. Uh, decryption protocol, uh, local comms, ESA static key one, and encryption key matrix. Notes for, uh, notes for use. All standard communications between observation and ground control are automatically hardware encrypted and paired. In the event of a breakdown in hardware or to con uh, contact uh, <laughs> or to contact local vessel, uh, such as approaching shuttle, approaching shuttle, whose encryption hardware has failed, use this key to reconfigure. Each vessel carries the same key and as such station to craft or Houston communications should still be possible by decrypting with this key, even with hardware failures. Okay, this is probably something of significance. So let's, uh, let's back out of here. We have another door uh, hatch here. Let's add this to system link. Okay. We'll link to that one as well. Let's see, uh, I think we, from this angle, I think we have interacted with everything we need to in here. Uh, interacted with that. Uh, let me change the camera angle. Let's see, do I need to zoom in here? Communications terminal currently unavailable. I think, I don't think there's anything else in this room specifically that we need to link with I think we've gotten everything yeah yeah I believe so what's this on the wall here nothing okay all right and finally uh angle C oh oh no like what what exactly happened here 
What happened? I guess his suit is is black. Like what? What happened? I don't think we can do anything with that. All right, let's uh, let's find out what our repeat our last command. Remind me, Emma. What can I do for you? Look at your station alerts, Sam. Find out what is wrong and do your best to fix it whilst I get this tracker back online. Okay. Station alerts. Let's see. Share structural ring. I don't I don't know that it let me see. I don't I don't know what this is. Let's uh let's go here. Hatch control. Schematic. I think I remember how to do this one. Uh let's see, start here. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh no, is that not it? Uh, let's see. To so, uh, to unlock it. Oh, this is. The, wait a minute. UN hatch control. Okay, so the the hatch schematic uh, for the universal pods is different uh, than the uh, the ESA ones. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, over, and one, three, one. Maybe four, four, one, three, over, four down, three, over, one, three, one. Okay, let's see. Four over. Is it here? I think it's here. Two, three, one. Hatch unlock. Nice. Open hatch. Okay. Yeah, the UN ones are different. It, it appears. Let's get a let's get a better angle here. This laptop. What is that? What was that? Oh, it's a laptop. This one is appears to be offline. We'll go ahead and link to it. go all right now who would have ever thought about that just simply turning on the power uh okay what do we have here date hey, night Sam. message for emma hey it's me good news is jim finally pulled me off uses reactor tests as houston want the efr on standby tomorrow so out of nowhere the captain gave us a window between shifts meaning we get to be awake at the same time for once New restaurant just opened called EAS 12. Food is terrible, but it's got a great view. Let's see there at 100. <laughs> I'd say let's hang out at your bunk, but it's a tight fit, and that woman who sleeps opposite keeps rolling her eyes. See you later, Em. Message ends, Sam. Thanks. Okay, so we're trans, uh, transferring these notes through Sam. Uh, coolant network schematic. All right, we have a new one. Uh, technical diagram of the coolant network schematic found in UNO3 module. Okay, we have configuration one, two, three, and four. Adapter. Okay, if any issues, right contact ground control. Okay, very good. One thing I also had to do as well, I'll tell you guys in a minute. I want it to allow me to, allow me to connect to it. You guys see that? Huh, I wonder why. Oh wait, well, no, it won't. For whatever reason, it's not allowing me. Maybe, maybe it's not the right time. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Oh, uh, but yeah, I was saying I had to change my um, uh, my y-axis inversion uh, simply because um, I don't know. It's weird. Like I, I generally play games. 
Oh, there are station alerts. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, coolant temperature imbalance. ATS error detected. Uh, crew at risk. High priority required. What about here? Uh, system reset detected. Crew detector sensors offline. Errors detected three. Locations multiple. Failure to initialize. Uh, EAS 10. Visual feed offline. Crew assistance required. Manual override required. And lastly, EAS 12. Failure to initialize. Visual feed offline. Okay. We can, we can take care of these. And I'm actually going to work in reverse. Um, we're going to go to EAS 12. Um, oh, before I lose my thought, yeah, so for whatever reason, man, it's just weird, like, when it comes to, like, first-person shooters, uh, my, my Y-axis is definitely inverted, you know, down for up and up for down, but when I, when you do, like, camera-related stuff, for whatever reason, I, I, it, it works better for me to not invert the Y, it's, I don't know, man, my, my brain is just, <laughs> it's just wired differently, <clears throat> okay, so let's, we need to go to EAS 12, uh, let's see here. Where is EAS 12? I don't see. Wait a minute. Are we not on that part of the ship? Okay, let's go to EAS. EAS 12. Where are you? 11? Oh, we can't go to 12. 12 was attached from the ship. We have are you met that? Okay. All right, well, let's go back. Oh, sorry. Let's go. Then let's go to the one before that then. Let's go here to EAS 10. Let's go to ES-10. Let's go here. Oh, my, uh, register error to crew view. Okay, so I would need... Um, camera has failed to initialize. Okay, I would need to enter the sphere. Spheres. In order to... Uh, to actually physically go into that room. And I have to find out where my spear is. I don't think I actually have one available. Uh, let me go back. Which was this one? You in one, three, and six. And let's start with one. I go to UC. That was UC. It was UC, right? No, this is UN. Ah, uh, here we go. You uh, in one. Let's let's start here. Crew tracking sensor. Currently unavailable. Okay. Add this to system link. No, I don't I don't think I need the schematic. Do I? I may, because it, it won't. It's not, it's not closing without it. Okay. Now, if it's the same as before, close, which is where's L2? It's at the top. Uh, two dots over and then three. Okay. Is that right? That's closed. Okay. I'm trying to see what else is in this room. We really can't get a better angle on anything from here. Let's switch to camera B. Do have a hatch here. Another schematic. I guess, I'm guessing once. No. Do I have to unlock it first? Oh, 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 oh. This is, that's an EAS hatch, that's why. That's why, okay. To Issa Horizon, let's just zoom in here. This is linked, it's locked. Uh, let's see. I just do open one 
two, three, four, five. That's five. Hatch is locked. Okay, which which is the unlock? L three, four, three over. Okay. Okay. Storage bag. Can't angle any better than, than this. Let's go to C. We have another one here. It is so dark. Press control locked. So I'm guessing once you actually get the schematic in here. Uh, Okay, it is like so dark. Yeah, I can't, it won't let me angle any, any other ways. Okay, let me, it was, uh, what was the station alert for one? System reset detected crew tracker sensors offline, errors detected three, locations multiple. Uh, let's move to UN3. I think we were just in here, were we, were we not? What is that? Hatch control. It, it's like we've, we've completely lost communication with this ship. Why is it offline? L3. Let's see if that'll, that'll bring it back online again. This is offline. It was okay. Crew tracking sensor. This is one of the ones I think we needed to interact with. It's currently unavailable. This is currently unavailable. Uh, is this something that we can report back, actually? No. Okay. Cooling network node. I can't. I can't do anything with it. It won't allow me. Okay. What else is in this room? This is where that spear would be really handy. I think. What is this? Is this more of the same? Yeah. Well, if for whatever reason it's not allowing me. To connect to it is it because it doesn't have power somehow let me go to a different camera angle yeah i was in here i was absolutely in here i sure was uh but i can't i can't i can't access that it won't it won't allow me to for whatever reason And I don't see anywhere where I can generate power for it. Okay, what was the other location? Six? Where's six? Here. Oh man, what is happening in here? Vent currently, <laughs> currently unavailable. Why would it need to be available? Is the question. Okay, different different camera. We have a laptop here. There's power over here. Turn it on. Come back. Okay. Reactor on standby. Sam, confirming that I'm 
I'm finally powering down the test cycle on the EFR reactor. I know I've been a pain in the ass about this, Jim, but it's been operational for weeks now, and the check routines have taken up so much of my time. This is time I should have spent on USES tech tests, and they're going to be pissed. What was Houston's problem with my results? I just don't understand why we're checking this over and over. Anyway, rant over. Reactor is on standby. Ready for anything. Message end. Okay. Offline. Well, how do I get it back online? That's the question. That is what I am desperately trying to figure out. The camera motions that you see, guys, is uh, completely out of my control. Like the speed of it is completely out of my control. There's a hatch up there. There's one over here. So we can go ahead and interact with that as well. I just want to unlock it primarily. Uh huh. It's locked. Unlock itself. Okay, I've done this one a number of times now. Okay. All right, let's go back here. I really don't see. Let's see. All right, now what about this one? You in three? Wasn't that one? You in three? Coolant loop A temperature imbalance. Now, this isn't anything I can report. Oh, here we go. Hold on. The coolant network is reporting multiple errors. Recommend investigation. That could give us problems later on. Have a look at the network hub, please, Sam. Okay, I got a save there. Oh, and all, all of these went green. How about that? Okay, well, let's go. Are we in UN3? If we're not, we're about to be. Let's go back. I can hear you in there, Sam. The door is locked down, and I think there is an override active. Something atmospheric? Uh, okay. Something atmospheric. See, it says currently unavailable. What could it be? Atmosphere, that means there's something in something in the room. Oh now you'll let me connect to it. Okay. <laughs> this was part of the main story. That's why we couldn't uh data schematic not found. Ah, okay, well, we need to we need to find it, which means it's gotta be on a laptop in this room somewhere. We got the data recovered from here. Add this is system link as well. Yeah, it's offline as well. Yeah, I don't have the schematic for this. Wait, this maybe this is it right here. Scan. Coolant coolant network schematic. Uh, half of it is gone. Adapter file configuration one. One. Two. You can't see three or four. I guess that's at least a start. Data combination now of the combined files. Okay. Let's go to memory core. Here. Combine data. With what? With what else? Hat schematic. What is this? Uh, search for fragments. 
I'm guessing this is one here. Here. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, now we have all that's 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 pretty cool. Okay, now let's let's go back into the room. Um, let's reconnect with these. This is uh, 726. 726 is configuration three. Ah, uh, boy, that's that's a tricky one. Okay, uh, let's see one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one over, then one, two, three, four, five, six over, five down, one, two, one, two, one. okay, six over, five down, here, one, two. oh, no, 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 one, two, three, four, four, five, so here, I think I didn't do it, ah, well, it's close, So we start right first. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Now work on. Okay, that's one. Okay, let me let me switch camera angles. Is this the one I just did or no? Can't 186. Okay, let me see. Schematic here 186, configuration 2. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3 over. Wait, uh, 4 down, then 1 over, then down, right. I don't think that's right. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uh, down, right, down. Okay. No, 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 no. See the light in here flashing. It's checking the system again. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Will do. I think there's one. There's there's some more in here. I think. Yeah, there's another one here. I think. Let me zoom in. See the so I can see the number on it. I can't. Is that ninety? That's got to be 490. Okay, let's look at this one more time. This is 490 configuration 4. Uh, where is 4? There it is. Uh, so 3 from the bottom. 3 over. Okay. Let's see. 3 from the bottom. 3 over. It's here. Right? <laughs> So all the way up until the last wait a minute, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. All the way up to the top until the last okay. We're going. Okay, that one's online. And now there's one. There's one more. Okay, this one's online. Let's go to C. One eighty six. Have we not done this one already? I thought we had. Maybe this will be the last one.
code to connect. Okay, when all nodes are ready, start each node and confirm. Then initiate hub controller and confirm. Okay. Initiate, initiate. Initiate hub controller and confirm. Failed, offline nodes detected. Uh, initiate, how about coolant network? Confirm. Invalid procedure. Okay. What is, all of these are off, I mean, all of these are online except for this. The fan, well, hold on. Initiate of controller. Start each node. Wait, let's go back. Let's go to. Okay, we can't undo it. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, uh, start. Cooling network. 186. Okay. Start. Cooling network. 490. Okay. Start. Cooling network. 726. Confirm. Initiate. Hub controller. Confirm. That's it. Good job, Sam. That'll allow us or anyone else access to the Universal Modules 3 and 4 as well as the Shenzo arm. Still that opening. The lockdown hasn't lifted. Now saying something about contact points. Emma? We had the same problem on the EAS arm. I think whatever moved us to Saturn caused us to shake. Wait, what? Saturn? Yeah. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. I'd say it's a long story, but all I know is that Sam thinks he brought us here. Shit! Saturn? I mean... I understand the sentiment. Christ, I don't know where to begin. Look, I'll, I'll head outside and try to get this sorted. I still have my suit and plenty of O2. Be careful, May. I'll be fine, Emma, don't worry. Famous last words. <laughs> See, what are we doing here? This is a different area of the ship. See, it's uh, one, two, and three. Is she trying to, is she going to do an EVA here? Okay. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break here. Uh, when I come back, we're going to man, we're going to do some more. I'm 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 really curious to get to the root of exactly what happened here. Um, good thing is that we at least found one other crew member that's still alive. Uh, that's that's really promising. Although we did find one that wasn't surrounded in this black goop or goo. I have no idea what is. Um, but we're going to keep playing until we figure it out. All right, guys, hang in there. I will be back soon. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, come here to look forward to uh, to more of the more of the, uh, the 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 rarer games, the ones that you don't see as popular uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can come to me to find those. Um, I, that's pretty much going to be the nexus of my channel to find the rarest things that I could find. Um, but but it, that are good, you know. I, I've learned through my YouTube uh, experience that not all games translate well uh, to YouTube, you know. Uh, so just because it's you know just because it's, it's a rare game may not make it on my channel because the game itself doesn't just doesn't translate well uh, to YouTube. Um, but regardless of that, any of them that do, you'll find them right here. All right, guys, this is Morpheus. Be back soon. Later.